Hi right, folks, Fuzz here. Welcome back to Final Fantasy X-2. Today we're going to be continuing on through Chapter 1, making our way through the Mushroom Rock Road, a place I'm sure many of you remember from Final Fantasy X. And just a heads up that as of today, the 17th of April 2019, the game, uh, along with Final Fantasy X, together in a package as the HD remaster, is now available for Xbox One and Switch. So it is joining the PS4 and the PC versions of the game. As far as I'm aware, there's nothing additional included in those versions. There's still no speed up option or turbo mode, which I'm a little bit disappointed with because that went down well with the Zodiac Age Final Fantasy XII. Uh, but alas, as I say, that is not an option in Final Fantasy X or X-2 remasters. Unfortunate, but that's the way it goes, I suppose. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's continue on with today's walkthrough, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are so far in the comments below, and as always, massive thank you to those who are, who are supporting the channel. Uh, first of all, by subscribing, and especially to those who go the extra mile and have signed up on Patreon or through YouTube membership. Really appreciate all that support, guys, so thank you very much. Ah, it's those creeps again. So as we just get a few feet into the Mushroom Rock Road... We bump into our old friends here, but they don't it's notice us just yet. The Indeed, they uh, seem to just run away, or walk away rather. Like I said, didn't really see us there. And I do recommend you save before going further, because there's a few things you're going to need to do in terms of 100% uh, completion. And they are things that can easily be missed. So if you do miss them, or if you don't end up on the percentage that you should end up on, then you'll probably have to reload and try again, unfortunately. So we're going to Good approach to this group again, of NPCs Yuna. here. You haven't forgotten me, have you? Okay, so this is Yabel, or Yabel, and whether you remember him from Final Fantasy X or not, for 100% completion, you need to tell him that you do remember him. Yabel, isn't it? You're in the Youth League. Ha! <laughs> you really do remember me. I am truly honored, Lady Yuna. Since that day we first spoke, the Youth League has been conducting a spear hunt of its own. We, the Youth League? Hmm. <clears throat> Clasco, take it from here. We, the Youth League, to better our understanding of Spira's past, vow to remain vigilant in our search. Clasco sounds really enthusiastic, the doesn't it? <laughs> oh, that's enough! Those two guys are getting away! Did LeBlanc's men pass through here? Yes, they said they're here to take care of our fiend problem. You see, the Youth League is in preparation for an important operation, leaving our patrols shorthanded. As a result, the road to headquarters has been overrun with fiends. Be warned, unless you can defeat the fiends on the road, you will not be able to pass. So, are you ready to run the gauntlet? Again, we get another choice here. We're going to select the top choice. Sure, we're game. Understood. Expect to encounter fiends until you reach the vicinity of the lift. Fight your way through them and proceed to headquarters. That's it. Good luck. Clasco? Uh, Clasco, show them the way. Uh, uh, of course. This way, please. Yeah, let's hunt some fiend. Okay, so we're automatically going to be going... Well, actually, not automatically. It's automatic for Riku and Pain, but not so much for Yuna, who we're controlling. Uh, we're going to head over to the next screen here, but before we do anything else, we need to speak to Clasco. Now, you can miss out on speaking to him, and if you do, you'll miss out on speak, uh, collecting 100%. Hmm. Again, it's little things like this, which are well, really simple to, to miss out on. And it's quite frustrating, to tell you the seal. truth. You do but need to pay attention to all so of this stuff. But I'm still stuck playing tour guide. Ugh. You know, all I want is to ride on a chocobo faster than the wind. Okay. So that's pretty much it for uh, Clasco. And uh, before we actually follow him, there's a little bit of money I think we can find. Just let me try and get it. I'll show you where it is then. From the Youth League soldiers then, this is how we're going to grab that optional chest. Uh, we're going to make our way up north here. You can see there's a bit of a ravine that we can access. And then there's a lift that we can use to go up to the next level. Now, there's not a whole lot to do in this next section of the next level. But there is a chest to grab. And that's what we're here for at the end of the day. So we'll go ahead and open that. But a little bit of dosh, 1,000 gil. Not too shabby. There'll also, I believe, be another chest here in Chapter 2 uh, for a high potion 
but as I say, that's not until chapter two, and we're not there yet, so the chest won't be either. Uh, after that little detour, then we're going to make our way back to the soldiers, and there's actually no enemy encounters in this initial starting area of the Mushroom Rock Road, but of course there will be soon. If you leave this area at any point, Clasco will return, and you'll need to speak to the head youth leader again in order to accept the mission once more, and then again speak to Clasco after that in order to send him back here. Okay, so what we're going to do now is just enter the next area and that should start the mission proper. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this mission is called uh, Foggy Fiend Frenzy and it's basically going to involve quite a lot of uh, nasty stuff in terms of enemies and what have you. So there is going to be one more chest that we can grab as well during this chapter, but I'll talk about that a little bit later on uh, as and when we reach it. But now we're just going to make a start by heading forward. And as you can see, we're going to have to go ahead and things start to like phase out a little bit with the fog, but that's all to do with the mission. So once we've done that, it'll all be back to normal again. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and use the lift here. And any fiends that interrupt, we're going to have to kill. Uh, but there is one fiend, which I might come across soon, which I'll have to mention to you. And we're just going to, for the time being, just keep following the path. Uh, until we come there across our good friends, Logos and Orme. And we're basically going to follow those. So is this the enemy I don't want? No, 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 we're okay at the moment. We're okay, guys. Uh, so we'll just unleash some water R's, or water rather, on the red elementals. Take out the other coyotes and stuff by hand. So, as I say, most of these enemies won't be too challenging. Ah, water does no damage. I think we need to try Blizzard. Pretty strange, actually. I thought these guys would have been weak to water, but it's the blizzard. Which makes sense. Water and thunder are opposites. I was just um, in my own world for a moment. And these obviously aren't thunder. They're fire, and blizzard and fire are opposites in Final Fantasy universes. Okay. Relatively simple battle once we've got the elements sorted out. And some nice experience, actually. Yeah, we should be getting a, a level or two here. So, yeah, the enemy encounters are going to be coming in quite thick and fast. Uh, as I say, though, most of them are going to be easy. Ah, that red there means that it's... I believe it means, anyway, that it's um, gone into oversoul. So let me just correct me if I'm wrong on that. We've not encountered an Oversoul enemy that's as of right, yet. But I believe that's what it means. So its stats will be improved. And it will just generally be quite a lot harder. But hopefully not that hard since it's just a random enemy. Bosses can also Oversoul. I mean, it might not mean that. I didn't actually see the prompt of it being Oversoul. So just confirm that for me in the comments, will you guys? Make sure I'm giving the correct information there. Okay, we'll uh, drop down at this point. Yeah. Another nice ability, Liquid Steel. I reckon that'll be good on some of these fire elementals, won't it? I mean, we won't need it in this case because I'm pretty sure that uh, Rika will take care of it for us. But when we have multiples in future, it'll go damn well for sure. Yeah, I'm liking the fact that we're learning multiple abilities now. For many a situation that we find ourselves in. Pretty awesome. Right, so there is, as I say, uh, a treasure chest down here. Just want to make sure that we're not going to miss it. There it is. Go ahead and open that. And what do we get? A turbo ether. 
exciting. There's also going to be a Phoenix Down coming up next. I think that's down this uh, narrow passageway. Although I could be mistaken. I am mostly going off memory here. Uh, but I will make sure that we do absolutely everything. Don't worry, guys. So if you're following along uh, and playing yourself, I'm going to get 100%. Then I will make sure to lead you there, don't you worry. I think we might have to throw a couple Take of potions that. around. Start to get a little bit touch and go with people's health levels here. Yeah, that's more like it. Obviously, until we can hit a save point later, uh, that's all we're going to be able to use. Right, so, nope, nothing up there. Uh, just let me check that I'm going the right way. Yeah, I believe I am. I believe I am, as I say. Could be wrong. Let's liquid steal these guys. So, Pain, I don't think, has liquid steal, which is why she's just taking care of the other enemies. Okay, Liquid Steel is a water-based attack. I don't know why I I tell you what, I'm just not with it today. I really am not. It's Ice Brand is what we're supposed to be using. Flipping Ice Brand. I really am losing it, aren't I? I'm losing the plot. I mean, it doesn't really do a whole lot of damage anyway. I think we'll just stick to physical attacks from uh, Yuna for now. We got there. In the end, we got there. Yeah, also guys, I'd be interested in finding out what level you lot are as well. There's the chest. Uh, that one's containing the Phoenix down. And there's also a high potion that's nearby. Uh, the high potion, though, can be a bit of a pain to find, I think. I think it's a lot further up, though. So we won't go down there. There's nothing down there yet, anyway. There might be later on. Chapter 5, I think. Ah, there's the high potion. Wasn't too bad. And as you can see, we've got a beautiful save point coming up. Good opportunity to rest. Oh, no, it's a Tombray. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Might have to focus a few times. These guys have a lot of health. Time to act. Uh, let's go and try and reduce some of its stats. Uh oh. Got a couple of Phoenix Downs in place, I hope. Oh good. It's not quite as deadly as it has been in previous Final Fantasy games. 328 points of damage, not too shabby at all. Let's stick with ice fingers, shall we? Uh, I think you need to actually heal yourself, Riku, if you'd be so kind as to do that. Okay, so we can't reduce its physical damage. Can we reduce its magical defense? Oh, come on. Don't do this. No! Why didn't you heal yourself? I'd cast High Potion. Oh, man. Right, at least we've got a whole bunch of Phoenix down here. So we're going to spend a few rounds healing, I think. Nope, we can't reduce this guy's stats, I'm sure of it. So let's just uh, launch some heals, shall we, with Pain? Pain can be a... Oh, please don't start this again. Yes, 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 yes. Right, Riku can carry on. Uh, potioning, in fact, everybody's going to be potioning, I tell you right now. Except for Riku, who's going to be our main damage dealer in a moment's time. So everybody else can potion up. 
We've got a lot of potions, may as well make use of them. Keep everybody nice and healthy. That's the plan. Come on, come on, don't hit Riku again, please. Thank you, thank you very much. Who are we going for now? Pain, is it? Uh, right, now that's good, that's good. What should we start unleashing? Should we try Blizz of ours? Like right, we need to get an attack off. Yeah, 600 points of damage. Very nice indeed. So let's go for a few more of these. Like I said, these guys can be a little bit annoying. Wow, Yuna's got a lot of health. I didn't realise she had like 700 health points already. It's all those lovely level ups we've been gaining, isn't it? Oh no, Riku is out. Right, she can have some MP back. And let's just continue on here. Blizzard seems to be doing the trick. Uh, what did we learn? Water R. Very nice. So that's all the level 2 magic spells learned now. Start on the actual uh, level 3s, which is good. Riku's taken a long time to cast this spell, I tell you. There we go. Right, who wants a heal? Pain, go for it. And Riku. Yeah, stay on top of the potions. The good thing about this fight is that the Tombri only hits one person at a time. So as long as you keep the potions coming in, then uh, it shouldn't be too bad, really. Oh, here we go again, back to Riku. Riku is by far the weakest party member being a black mage. So it can be a little bit annoying when he keeps targeting her. But we'll just keep him topped up and I think we're doing okay. He's still alive. This guy does not go down. We're learning all these lovely abilities. I suppose that's something, isn't it? I don't know if delay attack will even work on him, but should we try it? Nope, he doesn't. So delay attack I think works quite frequently in Final Fantasy X. But there's a lot of immunities in this game. So a lot of stuff that did work in FF10, you can't really take for granted in Ted 2. Are we still focused? Yeah, I think focus lasts until you die, doesn't it? Or until the next battle. You do a lot of damage as well when attacking from behind, I've noticed, with both magic attacks and normal attacks. Oh no, out of flipping uh, mana again. Need to stock up somehow on this good stuff. Right then, let's go ahead and heal, 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 heal. This could be bad. Oh no, it's okay. We're okay.
still alive. Goodness me, this guy's insane. Let's hope we don't get any more of these anytime soon. I'm doing a lot less healing now because I want the battle over. <laughs> Is he dead? He's dead! He's dead at last! Does anybody have any idea what his health number is? His HP? And I'll tell you what, those rewards were not worth that battle. But at least, as I say, we did manage to get some uh, abilities learned. So we'll make our way over to the save point. Which is just here. And then we can just briefly go through before saving and check out the abilities that we've got. Uh, or haven't got, as the case may be. So Yuna, what's she currently learning? Demi sword. Well, I can't imagine gravity doing a whole lot, but yeah, we'll come off that for now. No, we'll learn it. There might be a fight or two where it's useful. So, won't hurt to have. And Riku can just, yeah, she can start learning the level threes. The fire gars, blizzard gars, thunder gars, and water gars. She'll go through those automatically, I'd imagine. So, we'll be doing some proper damage then. Uh, delay buster. Pretty similar to delay attack. So maybe she could learn the brands instead. Uh, or maybe assault would be useful for one party member to have. Yeah, let's go for that. Okay, and let's save our game. Before continuing on. Yeah, don't forget guys to have multiple save files. Right, and what we need to do now is make our way up. Uh, so we just need to, no doubt, find the lift. I mean, I'm pretty dumb. Just go to the green square that's right next to the save point. This one ain't and that'll no take us where good. we need to be. Nor this one. What are you doing? <gasps> Let's get out of here. We must inform the boss. <laughs> Hey, they dropped something. Finders keepers. Right, so the Crimson Spheres are quite valuable. And there's 10 to collect throughout the game. So I'll show you how to get all of them. Uh, by the way, I think I can't remember if I mentioned, but I probably should have done. Uh, the fiends that we were just fighting, they come more regularly. Probably a bit late to tell you this, but just so you know uh, going forward. They come more regularly when the purple fog is present. And that's when you're going to encounter the Tombris. I don't think you can even encounter the Tombris if the fog isn't present. So if you want to avoid those, just stand still until that disappears, basically. Okay, so we've got Crimson Sphere 9. Uh, which is pretty good. We can go ahead and touch the door here. And as you can see, that's basically put a light through one of these arms that are on that weird uh, Muriel statue type thing that's against the door. Not exactly sure what to call that thing. I guess it's like a, a strange locking mechanism. Either way, that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, so we're now hey, going to head back no see. for Remember another scene. <laughs> okay, so once again we're going to select yes to this. Glad to hear it. How have you been? I joined up with the Youth League, and that's been keeping me pretty busy. Oh, I'm a Sphere Hunter now. Ah, that sounds great. Trying out a new way of life. Actually, Pase's a Sphere Hunter now, too. He's the leader of the Kindergartians. Be nice to him if you see him. How's Isaru? The Youth League discovered this place, you know. It's called the Den of Woe. It was sealed around the time of Operation Meehan. And Isaru? But, uh, the seal can supposedly be broken with the right combination of spheres. Um... I'm afraid this place is off limits until we can conduct a more thorough investigation. So, I'll, um, have to ask you to leave. I'm sorry. Okay, so once we've spoken to him, we're going to head back towards the ravine. Uh, once again, you can save if need be. 
And once you're back at the part where we jump down for uh, Logos and Ormi, we're going to head back up. And this time, we're going to just continue following the path north from the upper level as opposed to the bottom level. Eventually, we're going to come uh, along the linear path to the next lift. And this will take us up out of this area and hopefully to the end of the mission that we're currently doing. So we'll just follow it over to the headquarters. The path that is. Oh, wow. Lady Yuna. For another cutscene? It's me, Elma. It's been so long. Wow, you've really changed. How are you? Never better. Now that I'm in the Youth League, I've always got something to do. Hey, you made it past all the fiends. Nice work. Go on, step aside. Right, right away, away, Captain. Captain. <sighs> wow, look at you. <laughs> Not bad, huh? Yeah, there we have it. Well done, folks. Still a couple of things we need to do in this area, though, for 100% completion. Uh, but our reward for this is the uh, glass buckle. And that won't be our only reward. We also get the Heart of Flame garment grid. So a new garment grid there as well. Bit of a bonus. Ah, we actually do have control back now. Uh, okay, if we head south, still on this upper level, then there's a treasure chest here, which you don't want to miss out on. This one contains another accessory, the favourite outfit. And then we're going to go ahead and use the next lift. Uh, which will take us up to the top, of course. To the headquarters. And the first thing we're probably going to want to do once, we're, uh, once we've made it into the next area is use the beautiful save point. Uh, looks like we're going to have some cutscenes first, though. This is Youth League headquarters. The Youth League was formed a year ago by people who opposed New Yevon. Its members claim that in the hands of New Yevon, Spira would only repeat its past mistakes. Their leader is a former crusader named Nuj. Apparently, he earned quite a reputation among the crusaders. Yep, now we can go ahead and save. Okay, so a few things, as I say, we're still going to need to do before going back to the airship. First of all, we can head down this kind of secret path to the right here. Uh, the reason for that, there's actually another treasure chest containing yet another garment grid. Quite an important one, the Restless Sleep Garment Grid. And then there's basically going to be a couple of NPCs that we need to speak to as well in this area. So I'll just try and make sure that we find the right ones of those. The first is a dude called Lucille. Not you. Not you. Okay, get closer to the tent, in fact. So I'll just chat to them all. Just in case there's anything. But I don't think there is. It's been too long, Lady Yuna. I am Lucille, commander yeah, of the Youth uh, Lucille. Forces. Fair enough. It's good to see you. Hiya! I am glad to find you well. As you can see, I have joined the Youth League to aid in the fight for a new Spira. I consider it my duty. Maven Nuge, our leader, has been hoping for an audience with my lady for some time. Unfortunately, he is planning a mission of great import and will be occupied well into the night. I am terribly sorry, but I must ask that you return another day. Oh, it's no trouble. My apologies. The Youth League's looking for spheres too, right? Yes, knowledge of the past is the key to the future, so says the Maven. It is with these words in mind that we seek the spheres of yore. The mission we are planning also revolves around a sphere, but... I am sorry, I had best say no more. It is not a matter to be discussed openly. No, I suppose not. My apologies. Okay, so after speaking to Lucy, we're going to speak sure to her to once more. Weirdos around here. The Youth League is a motley bunch. Some members certainly have, uh, questionable pasts. Just the other day, a very valuable sphere was stolen almost as soon as we discovered it. The Thief League? <laughs> no. No, few here would go that far. Most of us are very devoted. 
we work hard with Maven Nuge towards our goal of building a new Spira. But the Maven insists that none be turned away, and so the occasional bad seed does slip through. Unfortunately. But I can think of nothing more heartening than were the Lady Yuna to join our cause. That would do the League much good. Right, so before we head back to the airship, there's one more thing we need to do here. And that's this dude sitting down. You might recognise him from Final Fantasy X. His name is Meechun or Machen or something. And he's going to talk a lot. Perhaps you'd like to hear a story. Now, you might not at all be interested in his story, but if you're interested in 100% completion, you will have to be interested in his story because you need to listen to the whole thing. So any option that will cancel his story early means you're going to miss out on getting 100% completion. These past two years have been truly tumultuous. And he's not exactly the fastest talker. You can select please go on to interrupt him. Uh, but you cannot end his story. So you can speed him up, but you can't finish him from talking too early. So just click, keep clicking, please go on. The founder of the Seekers was a man by the name of Tremor. Before the fall of Sin, Tremor had been a priest in the orders of the Evan. With yeah, please go on. I I shall. <laughs> you, Evan, would not release its fears. Yet, surprisingly, a great number of people rallied to its cause. Their motto was... Please go on. <sighs> Nude was a member of the Crusaders. He is a powerful man. Once renowned for his fearlessness in battle, is yeah, you know the routine by now. Looking at all the young people gathered here to take part in the league's endeavors, I must say, I'm quite envious. So much. Do not click that option there, whatever you do. Otherwise, you'll be While reloading and going through all of this again. I've grown weary with the passing of many years. The game is so mean, isn't it, at trying to get you to fail getting 100% completion. It really is. Just between you and me, I don't even remember how old I am. Oh, might I ask you one small favour? What is it? I'd like to shake your hand. If it's not too much trouble. To touch just once the hand that defeated sin and saved all spear. And, of course, we're going to select that exact option. Oh, thank you. Now this old scholar can go in peace. Don't say that. Your hand. Is something wrong? No, no, it is not. Lady Yuna, you have my thanks. Okay, so he turned out into a bit of a weirdo. Uh, just make sure that I'm we didn't miss sorry. any dialogue from Lucille. Nope, we didn't. Alright then, guys. Well, we can actually head back to the airship now. But don't get too excited. I'll explain why in a moment. <laughs> Let's go back. Board the airship. Uh, the first thing we're going to do, now we're back on the airship, is teleport back to the Mushroom Rock Road. Yep, there's one more thing we need to do there, but since it's near the start, it just makes the most sense to go back and do it from here, rather than running all the way back to the Mushroom Rock Road. And what we're going to do is look out for Clasco. Uh, he should be... Close by, there he is. So we can go and speak to him. That's it. Every time I try something new, I screw it up. I just don't know what I want to do with my life. I don't know where I belong. I've spent my whole life drifting from one failure to the next. But I can't keep doing this forever. I know that there's a place for everyone in this world, even someone as sad and pathetic as me. Lady Yuna, I want to find my place. Please allow me to ride on your airship. Okay, so Clasco's going to want to come aboard. <laughs> we can tell him, sorry, loser. It's so tempting. But, of course, we do need to go ahead and let him come on board. Oh, thank you so much. I'll find my true calling. You'll see. And there's going to be multiple events going forward now where we can speak to Clasco on the airship. 
to improve our completion percentage. And once we've done that, we can actually leave the Mushroom Rock Road for good here, in Chapter 1 at least, anyway. Okay, right, first things first then now, we're properly back on board. We're going to speak to Shinra, give him the Crimson Sphere that we found. What did I click then? Probably not the correct option. Nope, do not want Creature Creator. Ah oh, well, we'll collect all the good stuff anyway. Yeah, you can have Brother in the party, by the way, as a fiend. I know everything. Uh, dun 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 dun. Okay, we don't need to do anything to sh uh, Shinra, to be honest with you. We can view the Crimson Report if we want to. But... We don't have to, if that makes sense. What a mess! So we'll unlock more of these little videos as we get more spheres, Crimson Spheres. Right, okay, so one more thing that we need to do to finish off today, and that's going to involve heading down to the cabin area, or is it up? I'm not sure to tell you the truth, uh, it's more like just kind of across isn't it, no, it's down apparently. Uh, if we just head up here, then we can find Clasco, who's now come on board, still holding his head, but we can speak oh, to him for a little bit of completion oh. stuff. Oh, why won't the room stop shaking? Oh. As you can see, it doesn't really say a whole lot. Oh, why won't the room stop shaking? Oh. But I am pretty sure we do need to speak to him, believe it or not. Uh, we can also say hello to Barky. We can stock up on stuff if we want to. We've already stayed here in this chapter, so there's no need for us to do that again. But remember, each chapter you will need to stay in order to boost your completion score at least a little bit. Uh, won't bother with anything else there. Thank you. Okay, so now we'll head back. And check out our final completion score for the end of the episode here. So hopefully you guys will be matched up with uh, what it is that I've got. So we'll just head across to the uh, map. Won't be going anywhere yet. Not until the next episode now, of course. So I believe we should be on... Uh, 12 or 13 percent 13 maybe yeah 13 okay so 13 percent that is with everything in the areas that we've been to so far done to 100 percent for chapter one so if you've been following along with me then this is exactly where you should be also uh so if you're not guys it means you've missed out on something that we've done but i've done absolutely everything in these videos so, as long as you've done everything I've done, you too will be on 13%. And I will keep showing you the percentage at the start of each episode and at the end of each episode, just so you can keep track of where we are uh, and where you are in comparison. Alright then, guys. Well, I think we'll call things quits there for today. So, thanks for stopping by. Let me know what you think so far, Final Fantasy X-2. Uh, I'm enjoying the playthrough, I've got to be honest. And there's quite a few people watching, which is surprising, but I'm pleased to see that. So, thanks for stopping by today, folks. Uh, have a fantastic day then, enjoy the game, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.